Okay students, let's get started with O levels in IGCAC Physics, Density Pass Papers. This is chapter 1, part 4. So let's see question number 1. A student determines the density of a liquid. So what is the formula of density? Density is equals to mass over volume. Okay, to determine the density, you need to measure mass and you need to measure volume. How can you measure mass using a beam balance using a beam balance how can you measure volume using a measuring cylinder so are there any options like this are there any options like this b is your option let's further move ahead okay let's read this question water is added to a measuring cylinder containing 100 cm cube of liquid paraffin the density of paraffin is 0 0.8 grams per centimeter cube and the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. As the water is added, the level of paraffin rises to 150 centimeter cube. So basically, what is the volume of water added? 50 cm cube. What is the density of water? 1 gram per cm cube okay and what was the volume of paraffin already in the measuring cylinder 100 cm cube you can write it as well 100 cm cube and what was the density of paraffin 0 0.8 grams per cm cube okay the paraffin and water do not mix what is the total mass? How can we calculate the total mass? The total mass will be equal to what? Mass of paraffin plus mass of water. What will be the mass of water? Mass of water will be equal to the density of water multiplied by the volume of water. What is density of water? 1. What is volume of water? 50. The mass of water comes out to be 50 gram. What is the mass of paraffin? 0 0.8. That is the density of paraffin into the volume of paraffin. That is 100. This comes out to be 80 grams. If you add up 50 plus 80, this will give you 130 grams. A is your answer. Let's move on to this question. A single bolt has a mass of 34 grams. So let's say this is a bolt. This has a mass of 34 grams. Okay. Three of these bolts are immersed in a measuring cylinder that already contains 30 cm cube of water. This is your initial volume. The reading on the measuring cylinder rises to 42 cm cube. Let's say this is your final volume. What is the density of the metal? You have to calculate the density of the metal. Density is equal to mass over volume. Okay. What is the mass of one bolt? 34. How will you calculate the volume of one bolt? Can you see the initial volume is 30? The final volume is 42. So the change in volume will be equal to what? 42 minus 30. This is equal to the volume of bolt. But how many bolts? Three bolts. Three bolts have a volume of what? 12 cm cube. One bolt will have a volume of what? 4 cm cube. 34 divided by 4. This gives you an answer of what? 8.5. D is your answer. Let's where they move ahead. The diagram shows the equipment used to measure the density of a liquid. Okay, you have to measure the density of a liquid. So density is equal to what? Mass over volume. So what is the mass of this liquid? How will you calculate the mass of this liquid? Very, very easy. This beam balance will be giving you the total mass the mass of the beaker plus the mass of the liquid if you can subtract the mass of the beaker from this total mass that the beam balance is giving you and then divide it by the volume of the liquid you will get your density a is your answer let's where they move ahead the diagram shows a rectangular block three centimeter four centimeter five centimeter okay the density of the block is this you have to calculate the mass of the block so we have studied that mass is equals to what density into volume what is your density 2.5 what will your volume be 5 into 4 into 3 5 into 4 into 3 length into breadth into height so 5 into 4 into 3 
into 2.5 this gives you a value of what 150 grams as your mass d is your answer let's further move ahead two blocks are joined together two blocks are joined together okay like this one block has a density of six and the other has a density of nine okay what is the overall density of the two blocks combined together so you have to calculate the total density total density okay how will you calculate that just like just like let me put this formula here the total density or you can say overall density has a formula of this the overall density has a formula of total mass divided by the total volume okay how will we calculate the total mass very very easy let me share these regions let's say this is the yellow region and let's label this as let me shade it so that you guys can differentiate it let's say this is block a let's say this is block a okay and let's say this is block b let's say this is block b like this this is block b okay let's first of all do the working for block a okay i have to calculate the mass for block a okay so how can i calculate the mass for block a i can take the density of block a multiplied by the volume of block a what is the density of block a six how can i calculate the volume of block a one that is the width multiplied by length that is one multiplied by height that is one one multiplied by one multiplied by one volume is equal to what length into breadth into height so the mass of a comes out to be six grams let's do the same thing for block b for block b i have to calculate the mass the mass of block b is equal to density of b into the volume of b what is the density of b nine what is the volume of b two that is the length multiplied by width that is one multiplied by the height that is one this comes out to be 18 grams so now you have the mass of block a mass of block b the total mass will be equal to what 18 plus 6 divided by the total volume how will you calculate the total volume again very easy this is your length that is 3 centimeters multiplied by the height that is 1 multiplied by the width that is 1 this equals to what 24 divided by 3 this gives you an answer of 8 grams per cm cube c is your answer let's further move ahead let's see this the density of gold is this a gold coin is 2 millimeter thick each face of the coin has an area of this what is the mass of the coin again very easy mass is equals to what density into volume what is your density of gold here 19 how can you calculate volume are you given the area yes area multiplied by the height or the thickness 19 multiplied by the area that is 4.5 multiplied by the thickness that is 2 millimeter remember to convert it into centimeters how will you convert it into centimeters by dividing it by 10 19 into 4.5 into 2 divided by 10 this gives you an answer of what 17.1 grams that is b is your answer please remember to convert this millimeters into centimeters because your density and your area is in centimeters so let's further move ahead okay let's see this question two cylinders p and q are made of copper okay the height of p is twice the height of q the diameter of p is half the diameter of q which statement is correct the keyword is this copper copper is the keyword here if two materials are made of the same substance if two objects you can say are made of the same material let's say copper 
they will have the same density c is your answer let's further move ahead two identical beakers contain the same mass of liquid there is a different liquid in each beaker okay liquid q has a density of rho okay what is the density of liquid p very very easy the mass of liquid p is equal to the mass of liquid q okay so let's write it here mass of liquid p is equal to mass of liquid q how can you calculate the mass of liquid p density of p into the volume of p okay how can you calculate the mass of liquid q density of liquid q into the volume of liquid q now if you realize you are giving some of the things the base area for liquid p and liquid q is the same density of p multiplied by the area of p multiplied by the height of p that is h is equal to what density of q multiplied by the area of q multiplied by the height of q that is 3h can you realize that this area of p is equal to the area of q both have the same base areas area of p is equal to area of q what will happen these areas will get cancelled out now you are also given the density of q so density of p multiplied by h is equals to rho multiplied by 3h h and h further get cancelled out density of p is equals to 3 times rho is there any answer like that c is your answer simple as that let's further move ahead a measuring cylinder contains 20 cm cube of water a stone is placed in it the volume rises to 38 <laughs> what is the volume of the stone if you are giving O levels or IGCSE physics, believe me, this is the easiest question. Change in volume is equal to the volume of the stone. Final volume minus initial volume. What is final volume? 38. Initial volume is 20. The volume of a stone is 18 cm cube. A is your answer. So that's it for density and volume pass papers. If you have any other questions, you can ask in the chat. The PDF is attached in the description below. Thank you for watching.